Hey, what is going on to you guys? Welcome back to Extreme Fizz. Today we're gonna be learning how to make copper hydroxide. Now, copper hydroxide is a really useful chemical, and in a later video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can make a thermite with the help of the copper oxide that we are making today. Now, we are actually in this video making copper hydroxide, and then we'll be synthesizing copper oxide in a later video. So, let's straight we get to it. So, you need only a couple of um, chemicals for this video um, first is copper sulfate uh, make sure that you make a nice little concentrated solution of it with water and the second one which you need is sodium hydroxide now make sure that you take the copper sulfate in excess and not the sodium hydroxide in excess because if you take the sodium hydroxide in excess then this will make your copper hydroxide highly alkaline which we do not want as it will not dry completely when we are making copper oxide okay so we need to just add sodium hydroxide to copper hydroxide and we should be able to see a beautiful reaction going on so yeah let's see and enjoy this reaction precipitate reaction Three, two, one, let's go. Okay, so that definitely was really nice. Cool. So, as you guys can probably see, we've got some nice little thick precipitate of copper hydroxide. So now what's happened in here is that the sodium hydroxide has reacted with copper sulfate to form copper hydroxide and sodium sulfate. Copper hydroxide is insoluble whereas sodium uh, sulfate is soluble so it gets dissolved in water. Now what we're going to be doing is that we're going to be um, filtering this uh, precipitate up and that will be our pure copper hydroxide. So let's go ahead and filter this thing up. Okay, so I've got a filter paper right here. As you guys can probably see, it's a cup. And yeah, I've applied it onto it because I'm right now not having a funnel. So yeah, think that should actually work. And here's our copper hydroxide plus sodium sulfate solution. Actually, a mixture, not a solution because it's not homogeneous. Okay, anyways, let's go ahead and slowly add this so that we can get a nice little filtrate. Oops, that didn't go as planned. Okay, so yeah, I've pretty much set it all up and now I think it won't fall inside back in. And yeah, we're gonna be continuously putting a little, little bit of it inside of it and we're gonna be waiting until we have all of the precipitate up. So yeah, let's see. So it's been about eight hours and as you can see that it's um, pretty much all drained out and what we're left with is pure copper hydroxide which is the filtrate so let's go ahead and take this out see what it's all about so this is the copper hydroxide as you can see by its beautiful looking blue color uh, it's almost pure but yeah, as you know that it's gonna have a little bit of impurities. But yeah, that's good that we have almost a pure product. Anyway guys, thank you for watching the video. If you really did enjoy the video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel if you're new. And turn the post notifications on so that you never miss a new video. And also, uh, next part of the video is going to be coming out soon on the channel in which I'm going to be converting this copper hydroxide into copper oxide and then making a thermite reaction with it. So, if everything's going to be going good, we'll be able to see this video real quick. So, yeah, that was pretty much it from the video. Hope you all enjoyed. Now, I'll see you next time. Later.